Hey, I'm Paul Romeo from Coco Fit Club. Uh, I'm here today with my girl Andrea, who's going to help me demonstrate. We're going to talk a little bit about time under tension, TUT, which of course is one of the core principles of Coco Smart Training. Okay, so we're going to explain a little bit about what time under tension is, why we use it, and how we use it uh, here at Coco Fit Club. It's um, one of the principles of, smart, of strength training, I think, that's generally overlooked way too much. So. What it is, time under tension refers to basically how long your muscles are under tension, okay? So how long are they working? So a bicep curl is a really good example of this, right? So we're gonna do a bicep curl. If you do a bicep curl like this, okay? That's one way. Another way is to go slower, which is a lot more challenging, okay? Do 10 reps like this, each rep taking a second, might be 10 seconds of work. You slow it down, okay? You might do six reps, and maybe each one takes you about five seconds to complete. That's going to be 30 seconds of work, okay? Three times the work of that 10 set, that 10 rep set, okay? So why don't we just demonstrate it? Andrea's going to show you a little bit, and we'll show you uh, how we do the Coco. So first thing I'm going to explain: there are three phases to to every lift, okay? When you're performing your reps, so when you're doing a bicep curl, as you curl to weight up, this is called the concentric phase. The muscles are contracting, okay? At the top here, as she pauses, this is called an isometric hold. So the muscles are working without lengthening or contracting, okay? Now as she comes back down. Her muscles are lengthening, okay, that's called the eccentric phase of the lift, okay, so it's the third way her muscles are working. So when she goes slow, do a couple reps on me, Andrea, she's really working her muscles all three ways, as opposed to when you go fast or you just let the weight drop, that eccentric phase, we have a lot of strength there, so um, she's really maximizing what she's getting out of this exercise and out of this set. Now, I will say that time and tension can be kind of challenging to work into a workout, I've done it over the years, you have to kind of count it in your head a lot of times. It's, it's, it can be challenging, and that's why I think a lot of people overlook it. If you want to swing around here for a second, I'll show you how we do it at Coco. Um, and this demonstrates, you know, how Andrea's getting her guidance. So this bar of the screen that she's watching is telling her basically how fast to raise and lower the weight, how long to hold that isometric pause at the top. Okay, she's coming up, pause, and then down, nice and slow. By following this, she's making sure she's not using momentum. All right, so she's not. Um, Bouncing the weights up, our muscles have a degree of elasticity to them. So um, when she brings the weights down, she's not using that elasticity to, to bounce the weight back up. She's making her muscles do all the work, and that is making her stronger. That's one of the reasons why those guns are illegal in at least 48 <laughs> states in this country. Okay, so um, it's also it's like a safer way to lift. It's less likely to hurt yourself, and you're not doing fast, explosive movements. And it's a variable that we can um, change and and you know do differently in every session. Whenever we're building the strength routines at Coco, um, we're looking at all these different variables, like how much weight, uh, how many reps, all that, and we work in time and attention as another variable. Obviously, slower is higher. Sometimes we may have an explosive up, so it's slower down. The point is different, so your body can't adapt to the activity we're doing here, okay? Variability is really important when you're building a strength training program, especially one that's gonna be effective over the long term. So. Um, Hopefully that helps you. If you're not utilizing time under tension in your strength training workout, I hope you do. You can try counting in your head, or even better, you can get into a Coco Fit Club and uh, use our technology to help make sure you are getting the most uh, out of your uh, strength training workouts, and maybe someday you'll have guns like Andrew's. Thanks.